Welcome to Cunningham Piano Company. I'm Rich Gallicini. And I'm Hugh Sung. You know, Yamaha does such an amazing job of building some of the world's best acoustic pianos, building the best digital pianos. And here we've got a great example of the combination of both, a great digital piano and a beautiful acoustic piano form factor. This is Yamaha's CLP665GP. GP standing for? Stands for Grand Piano, That's Hugh. That's right. And the Grand Piano lid, just like a traditional piano. Um, grand Piano case. It really is a beautiful piano for folks who want a traditional Grand Piano but don't have the space for it because... And don't necessarily have to invest the same amount of money either. Right. And Now, acoustic Grand Pianos normally start about five feet mm -hmm. you know, from the keyboard to the tail. Yes. This one is about, what do you think? It's pretty narrow. About three foot nine. But you still have the aesthetics, a traditional aesthetic. But of course, you never need to tune this piano, which is really, really cool. Now, just because this is a digital piano doesn't mean you're necessarily compromising on the sound, the touch, or the performance. There's some amazing features of this wonderful instrument. So I can see why we have so many customers asking us about this particular piano. Talk, let's talk a little bit about the sure, sound. Sure, I'm very, very happy to. So the sound themselves, we're talking about the Yamaha CFX, which mm -hmm. is their new concert grand, which has just been wonderful. Uh, the Bosendorfer Imperial. And you know, each one of these samples are also modeled. Mm -hmm. So sampling is a picture of sound, and modeling is shaping that sound to give us a much more realistic final result. So depending on how a pianist might lift their foot on a damper, it will change, the, they call that Yamaha smooth release. Mm -hmm. uh, virtual resonance modeling, which takes into account the cabinet, the strings, the soundboard, the pedals, the a la quad, which is like the duplex scaling, the rims, all of these parts of the piano affect the sound differently depending on what you do as a pianist. I think the, the summary of what you just said, that's a lot of stuff there. Mm -hmm. What most folks don't realize, and I think even a lot of professional musicians don't necessarily realize, is that playing the piano is more than simply pushing a key and hearing the hammer strike the string. Because as you said, there are other strings that vibrate sympathetically to that string. Mm -hmm. The case vibrates a certain way. The dampers, whether they're up or down, there's so many variables that make the piano sound so different depending right. on these different conditions, mm -hmm. pedals, the dampers, the keys, all these different things. And Yamaha's taking all of that into account. You've got synthetic ivory, synthetic ebony key tops, so it feels like a great piano, weighted keys, and then of course all this modeling or this virtual resonance, these factors that add to the richness of the piano playing experience. And it's, what's really cool is that in this tiny little cabinet, you have the equivalent of two huge nine foot and nine foot plus pianos, mm -hmm. plus 34 other voices like organ sounds, string sounds, choir sounds, electric piano. So we've got a lot of instruments in this wonderful cabinet. But I, I think we want to show off a little bit about how pianistic this piano sounds like. So let's hear it play. Let's, let's give it a try. I'm going to purposely pick something that's a little bit more on the quiet side. Now, I find that for me personally, digital pianos are really are well tested when you play something very soft because you can hear all the surrounding sounds. I want to see if we can hear some of these other sound effects That's a of great the idea. piano, let's not just that. the notes, okay? So let's, let's see if this works. So Hugh, yes. what did you think as the pianist? You know, it was really, really cool, especially with this very exposed melodic line from mm -hmm. the 
Beethoven's slow movement of his Emperor Concerto, you could almost hear the wood hitting, you know, the, the, the damper wood echoing off the strings in certain ways. And yes, you could. I loved how I was able to use my pedaling mm -hmm. to shape the ends of notes just like I would on a traditional acoustic piano. And this is, these are things that are very difficult to do on a great acoustic piano, much less a digital one. The fact that this digital piano can do those things is very, very impressive. Absolutely, I, and I really feel that this technology is the best that's out there. Yeah. I, I have not played another digital piano that offers me those same kind of options musically, you know? Yeah, and one other little note about the recording, I used, um, we're air miking this. I could have used just the digital samples recorded right on this instrument and used those recordings to you know, with this video, but I wanted to try to emulate as much as possible what this piano actually sounds like with the lid up with the real microphone as just like I record my acoustic piano. So to translate that, we're using microphones outside the piano just like we would with an, with an acoustic right. instead of taking the sound directly line out out of a digital product like you could. Right, right. And a lot of people that, that review digital pianos do exactly that. Uh, and that's it's a bit of cheating. Yeah. It's a bit of cheating. Maybe misleading, but this gives us a real feeling for what we're really hearing. You know what's really cool, too, is you can actually put the lid down, and it actually sounds like you a closed lid down. Lisp, yeah, it, it, <laughs> you know, it, it's, you know, so there's little touches of realism mm -hmm. that really add to the overall experience of having a real piano in such a compact but beautiful, elegant f form factor. I, I love this instrument. So anyway, thanks. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos. Thank you for joining us. For Cunningham Piano Company, I'm Rich Gallasini. And I'm Hugh Sung. We'll see you next time.